How you going guys? This is a Rust Relasia main raid cam and the clan today, uh, the base belongs to a clan called GS. Now they've got the sentries, they've got the tool cupboards, they've got the high external walls, not as many as what we normally see but the, the base is quite well protected from a defence point of view. Uh, lots of gun uh, galleries, lots of uh, spots on the roof they can defend from, barricades, airlocks, the whole lot. So. Let's have a look uh, at the attacking clan, and it is... A clan called Sin. These guys are really well known across the Australian servers, and if you haven't met them before on Rust, I'm sure you're about to. These guys are really well prepared, and if anybody knows how to do a raid, these guys know all about it. I've checked my fake rustouts.com, and these guys win 9 out of 10 raids. I hope they win today. Fucking young. And there we have the zombie horde of sin rolling down the green grassy hills of rust. Looking to set up a fob anywhere that they can with a good vantage point. Doesn't look like they're getting any resistance back from the GS clan. I'm not even sure if they're home or online for that fact. Um, but let's have a look. They're going to set down the fob now. They've, they've chosen a good point. I'm a bit worried about that high ground to the right hand side of the screen there. But... You know, we'll see what happens and we'll let them set it up and go from there. Okay, so the fob is down. First two rocketers are out and they are hitting the outer external high walls. A uh, couple of rockets down already, uh, doesn't look anybody's home, still no uh, suppressive fire or cover fire from the GS clan. Again, I'm not sure they are home, but we'll see what happens. Sentry's already f laying down fire, and a very presumptuous pig is taking down one of the guys in the reach. <laughs> Old Porky's done for. Alright, they still look like they're going to have to rocket these sentries, another rocket down. It's going to take a few. They've, they've done it with that uh, metal steel cage. And they take a fair few rockets, so it'll be interesting to see how long it'll take them if they can actually land a hit. But yeah, go from there. down and that's that's the sentries done for the courtyard is now open for them to push up now I dare say that they're gonna put a rocket in there to take out the external wall via splashback while they're taking out the honeycomb basically honeycomb for those who don't know is the area it's almost like an airlock a sealed airlock of square or triangle foundations all the way up to the base and it gives like a buffer zone between them and the loot room and that is pretty crucial for the big raids uses up a lot of rockets to try and get through it so it's pretty important um, to try and put as much honeycomb between, or space between you and the raiders as possible. Sounds like phantom rockets are going off there. Not actually going off, that's your alpha rust for you. Sin Clan pumping in more rockets to get through this honeycomb to the first loot room. Still not seeing any uh, return fire from the GS Clan. It is sad to see that they aren't home or online at the moment. Um, but I mean, things can change pretty quickly. They're building up into the loot room and... I can hear doors. That means someone's... There they are. The GS are home. And they're pushing back. GS are home and they're pushing back and they've got two full kit guys coming from the furnace base. Why they've got guys in the furnace base, I don't know. I'm guessing maybe they spawned out there for the main reason of seeing uh, the damage of the base, seeing the extent of the raid. But we've got a GS rooming up there. He's returning fire across the fob. AK's back and forward. He's putting down fire. 
the raid is definitely on and it is an online raid and it's all go. Looking down now to the courtyard, still busy little bees down there trying to get in through the honeycomb, but they haven't really rocketed too much more since GS came online. I mean, they've got to watch their six, they've got to watch their top as well, make sure they're not running around and they're going to take him out. A couple more rockets pumped in, still tunneling through to their main loot room, but not 100% sure where they would be. Taking a lot of fire around from the courtyard now, like I said, they're pushing around from both sides, getting fire from the roof. Um, things could turn ugly for Sin quite quickly if they don't stay on top of this and uh, suppress the GS clan back into their base. Sin member taking out a GS clan member trying to defend his courtyard. Went terribly wrong for him, now he's a dead man. Take a zoom out so you can see the distance between the FOB and the GS base. GS base launching rockets into the FOB. Good manoeuvre but could be costly if they need the rockets in future. Plenty of fire between AK to AK, not another rocket into the FOB, causing a lot of damage to that FOB. They're going to have to start repairing it soon, otherwise we're going to see a big hole in it. Another rocket into the FOB. Things are starting to get pretty full on coming with a good defense and it. We're getting shots over here to the counter raiders and it looks like a decent sized counter raid is coming through. These guys aren't tagged up, so we're going to have to call them Team Blue. Team Blue are coming up, and they're pushing up using the, the map's rocks as cover. they got nothing down at the moment. they got no fob or no external walls up, and they are simply using the map for cover. I've counted at least five or six players so far, and this is going to be a good pushback. Taking an aerial view of the, of the map, uh, they definitely have to put down a fob yet, so... They're going to have to do something unless they want to push up. Exchange of fire from AKs. From the fob back to the rocks. Team Blue looking about trying to push up. But they're getting too much suppressive fire from the Sin base. They're going to have to make some sort of move here. Either putting up some sort of barricades or walls. Plenty of suppressive fire coming from the FOB. And for good reasons too. If these guys get on the back of the FOB and are able to hold it down, Sin aren't able to push out of the FOB and push forward through the raid. That can make things pretty awkward for Sin and it could also lose in the raid. High wall down now for Blue Team as they start to met up and push up. Let's take another look at how Sin are going. They have put down an external wall, but no real extra cover there. Um, still getting bombarded by rockets from the GS base, so they're getting a hit from both sides now, from the front and rear of the FOB, which makes life extremely difficult. Um, it's very, very hard to have to watch both sides while you're getting hit at once. Look at an aerial view, it's almost like a live server version of combat tags in, or a vanilla version of combat tags. We're getting hit from Furnace Base, so these guys are not friends of GS Clan. They're not here to save the day. These guys are here to wipe out Sin and take whatever they can. They're pushing up from the right hand side to Sin Fob, and they're also returning fire across to the Furnace Base. Still pushing up, another wooden wall has been put down. Sin are pushing down and put down three external walls now for a bit more cover. This looks exactly just like combat tags on vanilla. Plenty of AK fire returning to another Sin member's been dropped while well, they're going to push up now and another high external wall is down. Four holding back while another pushes up. They need to push up now. This is the time while they've dropped the guy. One Sin member holding back that fire. Another rocket, they're launching rockets into the back of the FOB and that is going to put the pressure on Sin. They are getting rocketed from both directions. This is not looking good for Sin. Another rocket launched. 
They are looking by the looks to take out the sentry gun, which would allow them to push right up to the back of the fob, but either way, they are causing a lot of damage to that fob with those rockets, and the sentry has gone. Still taking cover fire uh, by the GS from the furnace base, and taking fire also from Sin from the fob. High wall down. These guys are having a bit of a think about what they're going to do, but... It's hard. They're sin upgrading their fob as best they can while they're getting hit from both sides. Another rocket down. Relentless rocketing from both sides. Pushing up. High wall down. Good move. Good move. This allows another guy to push up with him. Well, really all four, five of them could push up. Waiting for that cover. Plenty of cover fire from the top of the fob. Here he goes. Blue team has made a move. He's missed the bolt action shot to the head and he's made it to a wooden wall up right at to Sin. Plenty of return fire while he pushes around. It's another mate there waiting for him. Now that little one by one with the door. The whole team now of Team Blue is pushing up. Sin is in trouble. They really need to push back. Give them some hell. Otherwise, they are dead. Sin put cover fire down. He's hit hard and he's going to have to med while another one is pushing around for the left-hand side. He's in and he's dead. He has dropped the Sin member. <laughs> As you can see, he's jumping up for a reload, but coming out of a med, and he has no time to do anything while well, copping 5 or 6, 5, 5, 6 in the head. Not a good way to go out. Not a good way at all. Okay, looking back now at the field while we got the external walls from an aerial view. Looks like the blue team's just cleaning up the last of Sin while they're metting up and figuring out their next move. One of them has realized that Yep, they've realized that their rockets have highly impacted one of the walls. There can't be much health left on it, so they're hitting it all they got with their with their ammo and their their guns. And I'm interested to see what they're gonna are they gonna have access or they're gonna have a the tool cupboard. What are the chances? They have access to the Sin Fob tool cupboard. This is not good for Sin. Sin has the front door open and they've got it covered while clearing the tool cupboard and taking it for themselves. Oh, and putting down the foundation to make life very, very difficult for the Sin clan. They are griefing the fob very hard. The only way out of this for Sin would be to come out with a rocket and literally rocket through that. But that's a waste of rockets and I'm sure it won't be long before we see... Possibly another alternative. Night time's fallen and not a lot goes on, but these guys are trying to get in. They've built up on the sides and plenty of fire between the two, between the fob and the main and, and outside and in. So just have to stick around and see what comes of it. Oh, the rocket's got them. The blue team has decided that they're going to rocket in through the back of the fob while taking cover fire from the fob from the GS clan. Good move. Good. Another rocket going off. And the walls are down and it leaves him fully exposed to be bombarded by the bullet sprays that are coming through. And a rocket's gone into the fob to clear it out. And we're having a look. There's not many sin that we can see are moving. Uh, I'm guessing they're holding back. I'm guessing they're holding their places. A couple of them are down. They've returned fire and, and done good injury to the guys on the ground too. But by sight of those nakers running back in from the sin beds, it's, it's not looking good. Looks like the blue team's pushing up. One's gone down there, and he, he, he's taking him out. And uh, Sin have got a sentry down the bottom. That's going to make life pretty difficult for them. Uh, real hard to go down there and loot those bodies and get the weapons. Uh, another guy pushing in. Oh, Butterlegs has fallen off the top ledge there. Another one in through. He's pushing up to the roof. Another Butterlegs. Let's see if we got the third. Oh, 
<laughs> that ledge is pretty slippery by the looks of it. More boys pushing through, uh, heading to the top by the looks, while Sin pick up the pieces down the bottom with their sentry for cover. Blue pushing down, and he's met his maker with a sentry. We've seen these sentries before in a couple other videos and a few other YouTube videos, and they are quite a strong defense poise for a fob. Um, definitely a bit OP in a room that small. Now the naked trying to push down for a loot and Sinner all over that one to take care of him. Rockets coming in from the front side now. GS have uh, waited for daybreak and morning has broken and it looks like that's what they're doing to the fob as well. Another rocket launched in and made good contact with the roof. These guys are firing more rockets in North Korea and it looks like... <laughs> They're missing just as many as well. Kim Jong-un up atop there with another rocket. And that's another direct hit for the roof. It's not going to take long and there won't be much more of that fob left. It looks like it is pretty scarred and it's taking a beating. Another rocket at the front there on the fob. Keeping the pressure on Sin. So we got one of the Sin members pushed out. Gloomy is taking heavy fire from up at the up on the rocks there, and he's down. He's uh, he's down. Another rocket going off from the front of the fob from GS. Rockets flying all around the fob now, and the jungle drums are starting up, which means shit is about to get real. Plenty of fire from the hill and back back from the hill from the back end of the fob and also rockets still coming in from the GS. Oh, one of the high external walls protecting the lower section of the fob is now gone, leaving it quite exposed for more rocket fire to the lower section of the fob. GS crew, they, they've actually pushed up to the pre-existing twig and are uh, moving down from the roof, clearing it level by level. Uh, Sin aren't going to stand much of a chance. This would be the last time they can make a push, and now would be the time to do it. Guys everywhere, bodies everywhere. I don't know what it is with you guys and fob battles, but please take it out on the field. These are so hard to film, but Sin are doing as much as they can to keep themselves alive for as long as they can. It, it's a hard situation. Sin keeping the first and the second level secure with a couple of kick guys. Waiting for GS to push back down again. They got the stairs covered on both levels. No movement, but we got rockets coming in from the front. GS are uh, hitting the front, taking uh, advantage of that exposed front of the fob, and it's not good for Sin. They need to get out now before they get rocketed from the front side, and they are making a move, and they have left the building. And unfortunately, they were there waiting for them, and they've been taken out. GG Sin and GG GS, and well done to the counter team, Team Blue. That is all over. So how do you guys feel that you defended against your sort of first main raid? It seemed pretty good honestly, like I wasn't there to witness it, but the boys said it went pretty good. Um, Sin were like one wall away from the loot, so <laughs> luckily from us, uh, Sin got counter raided. But anyway, GG to Sin, and hopefully next time it's an online raid, it'll be a lot more fun, more PvP, and hopefully we win again, but anyway, GG Sin, and GG to the counter raiders. Thanks for counter raiding. So, in your best reenactment, how would you lay it down? Well, so from the start, this was our first week back from when we had our three or four week break off, and we pretty much wanted to be raided. We always want to be raided. We hardly ever, ever since TGB have slowly fallen apart and 
slowed down. We haven't really seen much of them, so we never get raided anymore. So we we're pretty much tempting GS to raid us the whole wipe, and they said they were going to. They said it a lot, and I was pretty much pointing out every single weak point to our base. I was sending them screenshots of our base for them, pretty much laying it down, pretty much wanting them to raid us so bad, yeah. And it never ended up happening, so we cracked it, and we um, got all our rockets together because it was coming up to near the end of the wipe, and we had a whole inventory of rockets or whatever and we went to their base and that's when we started pummeling them and as you can see in the footage we got straight to their loot room instantly um, but then we realized that no one was shooting us back so we messaged them a lot of them were online playing Rust, but they were all actually on Oz Vader so I messaged I think it was Zero and a few others saying get on we're actually raiding you right now so we put our thumbs for about five minutes and waited for them to actually get on and they actually started getting on and in that time people hearing probably 30 or 40 rockets getting shot off will they could uh, you know, come up and counter us, so a lot of people got pushed from behind and from us doing the honest thing is fucked us over in the end because we actually drew back from the breach a little bit and we had to take control of the guys behind because they four rocketed on from one side and took out our auto turret and then GS got online and then started using their rockets they had, which they were going to said, well, they said they were going to raid us with or whatever, but so they pierced open our fob and their rockets actually took out every one of our beds except for three. So their rocket pretty much fucked us. So we had half a base because we were getting rocketed from one side, rocketed from mm -hmm. the other. Yep. Then, it was a, then it was a massive fight from there, but we, so yeah, pretty much our honesty is what got us fucked over in the end because I, I still had rockets on me, I still could have kept going, but we waited for them to get online because we only thought it was fair and then from that, the counters all got to catch up and it's all that kind of shit. So we weren't intentionally going to offline. We don't like offlining clans. We we knew they were new and we didn't want to get them off the server. We wanted to go for fun, but just we didn't battle metrica. We probably should have. Um, that was pretty much how it went down, really. Yeah.